nerdies, Carly and Rose here, and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we're doing a strong arms and back flow. This will be a total body strengthening flow, just with a focus on arm and upper back strength. So we'll start with one of my favorite ways to warm up, ankle to knee pose, also known as double pigeon. So knees and ankles gently stacked in line, finding the comfortable position to sit here. Uh, we're not really going to focus on stretching when we warm up, we're letting gravity do the stretch for us and start getting into our legs while we focus on our upper back. Uh, make sure you kind of roll your sits bones back, have a nice foundation on the earth. You can have your bottom foot flexed or kind of stiletto asana and slightly rotated towards the, the earth or the mat. And extend tall through your spine, waving up to the ceiling, extending through the crown of your head. And we'll start with our Mula Bandha breath. So inhaling here, Filling the base of your belly, your pelvic floor with air. Think about breathing like a 360 direction. And as you exhale, squeeze all of that air in and up, exhaling all the way up our deep core and exhaling through the nose. As you exhale, it's kind of like you're trying to fog up a mirror, but your, your mouth is closed, you're exhaling through your nose. So you get that big ujjayi sound or victorious sound. right away starting to activate our deep core muscles all along our spine and starting to activate that total body deep core strength. So inhaling here. You're going to keep that breath going the entire practice. But now we're going to start getting into our arms like we want. So take your elbows in front of you, a 90 degree angle here, and just have your arms resting against each other. We're just going to do some pulses. So starting from here, just pulse your arms up. It's a tiny move, but it's effective and you'll feel it. You can even pulse the breath when you're doing this. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Namaste. You can interlace your fingers behind your back, so rotating your palms. Interlace your fingers and get just a gentle stretch, opening your chest. From here, we'll switch sides, since we do have two sides here. So bottom foot, again, can be flexed or just kind of gently pointed, resting your shin rotating kind of towards the floor. Suit your sits bones back at that comfortable position again, really grounding into the earth, extending tall through your spine, through the crown of your head. Ankles and knees are in line. They don't have to be resting. Your top leg does not have to be resting um, on your leg. You can have a pillow, you can have a block. You can just, you know, if it's just sitting here, if that's where you're at, that's awesome. Again, we're letting gravity do the work, getting us the stretch that we need. We're not going to overstretch or press or anything, just sitting tall here and really using that move of under breath to start activating our core. Think about exhaling, squeezing all of the air in and out, exhaling through your nose. Really lifting in and up through your spine. And then 90 degree angle again, hand or arms come together, palms rest together, and pulse up. You can even pulse your breath while you're doing this. Try not to let your arms open. You want to try keeping them together. That's where the challenge is and where you start feeling it. If you just kind of let them do like this, you're, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> so keeping your forearms together and exhale, hands come to heart center, namaste. Rotate palms behind you, interlace fingers behind your back. You can even switch fingers that are on top and stretch, opening up your chest here. It's great doing arm and uh, back strength and stretching out, you know, muscles that you work when we're <laughs> doing that. All right, now 
from here, we're going to make our way into our downward facing dog. So start with strong fingertips, strong palms, firmly foundation on the mat, and then exhale, stepping up into your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet here. Starting to warm up the backs of your legs and your calf muscles. And then from here, start with a slight bend in your knees, really pressing your arms back, wave your spine long, and then you can let your heels make their way towards the earth. Again, letting gravity do its thing. We don't have to force our heels to the mat if they're not, you know, if we're not there yet. We're not open enough maybe for the day or for the flow, or maybe we just need to work on, you know, general leg flexibility. Whatever the case may be, just let gravity do the work. Let your heels be natural and create space in your neck and shoulders. And from here, we're going to bend knees and elbows, wave your spine long, coming into a plank pose. You're going to come onto your knees, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare long spine. Next, we'll roll yourself in and up. You can even come to a low cobra if that feels better for you today or a higher cobra, and exhale, really lifting in and up through point of plank. You can also come on to your knees and step back into down dog. Very nice. Now from here, bend knees and elbows, wave yourself forward to plank again. This time we're gonna add a push-up challenge. <gasps> Since we're doing arm strength, so we're going to do a superhero push-up. So I want you to step your right foot up about halfway up your mat. Right knee is bent and right arm is going to reach out long. So now we're in kind of this funky position, but from here, you're going to do five push-ups in this superhero position. So long spine, you're going to bend towards the earth and exhale. Last one, very nice. Step yourself back to center, but lift that knee in and up and step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee and roll yourself in and up to that high lunge position. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come to heart center and namaste. We're gonna do a little bit of a stretch here. So take your right arm underneath your left, come into an eagle pose. You can have arms Backs of the arms touching or grab your hands. You're going to inhale, lift up, and exhale, round it out. Inhale, lift up, exhale, inhale, last time, lift up. Woo! Might lose your balance. <laughs> and exhale, round it out, stretching out the upper back. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Plant fingertips firmly towards the mat. Step back into your plank. Lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale. Make your way back to down dog. Very nice. Pedal out your feet. Now from here, wave yourself forward. Come into your plank. This time, come onto your knees for a moment. You're going to come down onto your elbows. We're going to do a dolphin plank. So elbows and shoulders are in line. Hands reach out long in front of you. Start by lifting in and up your core, extending out through the crown of your head, and then coming off of your knees. You're just going to hold this for a couple of breaths. And then you're going to plank up. So butt lifts in the air, but you're really lifting in and up through your deep core. And then back down. Lift up. Obviously a lot of core strength as well, but we're really getting into our arms and shoulders. And last one here. Awesome. Come on to your knees. Walk yourself back up to your plank and exhale. Wave back to downward facing dog. Very nice. And from here, bend knees and elbows again. Wave yourself forward to plank. This time, superhero, push up on the other side. So, 
left foot steps up about halfway up the mat, left arm reaches out just a little wide, so foot and hand are kind of in line, and do five push-ups. Just five. Last one. Awesome. And step back to center, but lift that left knee in and up and step it to the left thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bend your back knee. Roll yourself in and up. And exhale. Hands come to heart center and namaste. Now this time, eagle arm, but the opposite direction. So left arm goes under right. Again, you can have forearms touching or wrap and have palms touching. Inhale here, full mini arch and exhale, round it out. Inhale up, exhale, inhale last time here, exhale. Very nice, lift up, back to the earth, step back into plank, lower through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare long spine, roll yourself in and up, exhale. Now you'll notice a lot of our strength is coming from just doing those plank waves and those chaturangas. We use a lot of our arm strength for that. And of course, all of that deep core strength strengthens our spinal muscles, um, strengthens our back. So a lot of multitasking happening here. Now from here, wave yourself forward again. Come onto your knees and walk yourself down to that dolphin plank. So once you have a good foundation here, long spine, then you can extend your knees. Hold this for a moment and then come to plank, or well, dolphin, and then down to plank. of these. Last one. And back onto your knees. Back up to center. Back up to your high plank. Slight bend in your elbows and exhale. Back to down dog. Very nice. Now from here, you can hit pods. You can do those sequences again, starting with the superhero push-ups. And keep doing that until you feel, you know, uh, real burning your arms, however many rounds you want to do. And then when you're ready, come back. We're going to wave forward to plank, lower onto the earth. We're just going to settle here for a moment. And from here, we're going to do some one more kind of spinal movement. So inhaling. Then as you exhale, you're going to lift up. So arms and legs are coming off the ground. You're just hovering here really engaging all of your back and spinal muscles, but lifting up from that deep core. Exhale. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale as you lift in and up again. And exhale. One last time here. Inhaling, prepare. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, back to the earth, firmly plant your fingertips. Inhale, prepare, exhale, roll yourself in and up. And this time come back into your child's pose. Walk yourself up to sit, and then, however you want to get there, make your way onto your back for your final resting pose, your Shavasana. And hug your knees into your chest. And circle them one way, circle them the other. And exhale, extending it long onto the mat. Just coming to a final resting position, really sinking into the mat, taking up as much space on the floor as you want. And congratulate yourself for however many rounds of that arm and back strength that you did. Even just one round. It's definitely challenging. 
definitely building a lot of strength for you. Again, it is a total body movement that we're doing, just focusing on some of those areas and giving you tons of core strength and a little bit of extra in the arms and upper back. So I hope you enjoyed that flow. You did awesome for even trying it and building all of that strength. I hope that you take it with you into the rest of your day. I can't wait to see you on the mat again. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. And of course, get on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list because I have exclusive content waiting for you there. Namaste.